Ripple standing over the body of the SEC and Gary Gensler. And what has this done for the market? We have gotten a crazy, insane V bottom out of this flush that we had on Sunday night and on Monday down to under 50k for Bitcoin, now back over 62k. The rest of the market bouncing as well. Uh, tons of stuff up over 10% today. HBAR 15, ETH 15%. Coming off the back of the win of the Ripple lawsuit against the SEC yesterday, where XRP pumped like 20%. So today it's not really doing as much, consolidating here near the highs. Really, we're waiting for this breakout here of our macro triangle at this point. We break this resistance at like 66 cents, uh, and then it's go time for XRP, in my opinion. Um, but what's great to see is that the rest of the market is is looking so strong here as well, bouncing back. Uh, once Bitcoin goes into price discovery, I think that's the top for Bitcoin dominance after that happens. And we finally get a rejection here and we get a move back down to this trend line at like 40%. Uh, and this will be a massive alt season. So I think we're looking positioned here for something absolutely insane. Uh, it is just crazy to see how things have bounced out of here uh, so far. Because a lot of people were really panicking at the start of this week, thinking, okay, this is all over. This is the beginning of a much larger black swan event. Uh, Japan is going to crash and unravel and it's going to cause the whole market to just keep pummeling down basically. Uh, stocks here also seen a bit of a bounce, not as crazy as the crypto bounce yet, but coming up pretty decently off of the lows. So we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. But an absolutely insane move today for Bitcoin coming back into this range. Uh, if we go to the weekly time frame, this candle is just looking like one massive fake out to the to the downside. Uh, and I think it trapped a lot of people down here, made a lot of people way more bearish than they should be. And I think that's where we're at. I think that the next move for Bitcoin is into all time highs. Uh, here, let me grab the Elliott wave impulse. I am sure you've probably seen it, right? One, two, three, four. What comes next? That last final wave to the upside over 100k maybe it gets really really bananas and we send really high 150 200k 250k who knows where the top of the cycle will be i think it comes in quarter four of this year in my opinion uh i think the next few months in general are just about to get really really crazy and people forget how fast the sentiment can shift and how fast things can happen in this space once we get into that banana mode of euphoria, like we were in right here, uh, it doesn't last very long, right? If we start from right here uh, to the top, basically, well, we could call it, let's just call it here. Uh, that's 27 bars, 27 weeks. So I don't know, 27 times seven. Here, let's just go to the, let's go to the daily to make it a little easier, right? So I could give you an accurate how, how long this took. Once we really entered banana mode, this was over in 180 days. So how many months is that? I'm not really feeling like the math right now, guys. Like six months, right? Yeah. Uh, so once this thing gets bananas, it could be over in a matter of like four to six months. Uh, so assuming that that comes this month, Right, we got August, we got September, October, November, December, January. Like a five month time period while things get crazy. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see, see how this plays out. But it's an awesome start today to see the market moving the way that it has. Let's run through a few tweets. Crypto Michael, been very bullish on XRP here. Just posting here, little meme for XRP. Here we go looking like we are getting ready to break out of that resistance level and shoot for the big run that we've been waiting for uh, again here on xrp uh right 
this looked like a nice five wave move up followed by an ABC correction uh, a B C getting ready for our next five leg move up which it looks like we just started so hopefully we get this breakout here uh, in the coming days should be should be good to see uh, here from Satoshi flipper it's happening here comes the money printing so this is just showing that uh, the Fed is right there yeah they're buying back um, treasuries so uh, basically pumping more money and liquidity into the markets by buying back those treasuries and that's going to be happening for the next three months or so here from Chad Steinberg commenting it was both Brad and Chris on the White House call so there was a call uh, with the White House and a bunch of crypt crypto executives and that included um, Brad and Chris from Ripple again the day after the lawsuit ends with the SEC majorly bullish in my opinion uh, crypto Michael you're about to witness the true meaning of the word parabolic because yeah once this thing gets going uh, it moves once Bitcoin decides it's go time it, 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 it just goes here from crypto asset guy the case is over but XRP is still below one dollar you have to understand that the stage is finally set for institutions to join in this is when the real party starts next few weeks will be very interesting the most important thing is that we have uh we have the green light now new all-time high is close trust this beautiful process patience always wins and yeah my friend was <coughs> texting me earlier uh about how we're still at 60 cents right and we expected much more i think this is the start of a much longer more sustained run as opposed to like the quick pump we got on the non-security ruling and then the dump back down and I was just trying to explain, right, how once this thing breaks out, uh, we could very easily be at all-time highs within within weeks, um, if not less time than that. So I, I believe we will be at all-time highs and far beyond there by the end of the year uh, with the way things are lining up. And I've had that thought for a while, and it seems like uh, things are really coming to fruition at this point. So as always, got to wait and see. Nothing is guaranteed, but things are looking really promising at the moment. Uh, from Crypto Michael, they literally wiped everyone out just before the move up to 100K. This crash was the liquidity grab Bitcoin needed to launch to new highs. The train is leaving the station. I agree 100%. Saying the same thing at the beginning of the week. People were freaking out, panicking. And I just thought, you know, this seems like a shakeout before. It's probably just going to reverse right out of here. Uh, Pip Sniper says the next 90 to 120 days will be life changing. Make sure you take profits. Again, just commenting on how quick this can happen. Jack the Rippler, brace yourself. The XRP bull run is coming. False break of structure. Then we pump. False break of structure. We pump. False break of structure here. Getting ready to pump. Uh, finally, from Satoshi Flipper. Oh, Flip, you've been so right about almost everything this year. Literally nobody. Because um, he said here, classic shakeout before the next monster move. Stop falling for it. Dow is up over 400 points. Let's go. I'm just showing how we've V bottomed out of here. So keep it short and sweet today. Um, hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, let me know your thoughts in the comments where you think we're headed from here. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's just hope that this pump can continue, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.